All right, this is chapter two, lesson three, the percent proportion. So, in a blank blank, one ratio or fraction compares part of a quantity to the whole quantity. The other ratio is the blank percent written as a fraction with a denominator of 100. Okay, so in that first blank at the top of your page, you're going to write percent proportion. Percent proportion. So in a percent proportion, one ratio or fraction compares part of a quantity to the whole quantity. The other ratio is the equivalent equivalent percent written as a fraction with a denominator of a hundred. Okay. So couple things that I can do when I'm finding a proportion. Okay, so here's my little chart. So if I'm finding a proportion or I'm finding a percent, okay, so what percent, so that's a keyword, what percent of five is four? Okay, so I'm going to write four over five, because that's what I'm, I have four out of five. And I want to know percent, the N stands for the percent over a hundred. Okay. Next, if I'm finding a part, okay. So what number, what number is 80% of five, okay? Well, percents always go over 100, so I have 80 over 100 equals the part, P, over five. The last type is if I'm finding the whole, okay? It, four is 80% of what number, okay? So I have four over W, my whole, right, is 80%. So we can look at a couple of examples. The first example I have is what percent, so I'm looking for a percent, of 15 is 9, okay? So I'm gonna let N represent my percent. So that's what I'm looking for. So my proportion is part over whole. The part is nine, part is nine, and the whole is 15. That equals N over 100, because I, again, I'm looking for my percent. From here, we can cross multiply, okay? And cross multiply. So nine times 100 equals 900. 15 times N is 15N. I can divide both sides by 15. This cancels. 900 divided by 15 equals 60, which equals N. So $9 is 60% of 15. Next one I have is what number is 40% of 120? So I'm looking for a part. So I'm going to let P represent my part. So P represents my part. Okay. So I'm doing, setting up the proportion. I have part over 120, because that's my whole, equals 40 over 100, okay? Again, I can cross multiply. Okay. P 
times 100 is 100 P. 120 times 40 is 4,800. I divide by 100. P equals 48. So my part, so 48 is is 40% of 120. Okay. My next example I have is 18 is 25% of what number? Well, this time I'm looking for a whole. Okay, so I'm gonna let W represent my whole. So in my equation, my proportion down here, I have my part which is 18 over my whole which is W equals 25%. Remember, percents are always over 100. Okay? So when I write this proportion out, I can multiply, cross multiply. 18 times 100 is 1,800. 2 times 20, or W times 25 is 25W. Okay, I divide both sides by 25. This cancels, 1,800 divided by 25 equals 72. So 72 is my whole. So 18 is 25% of 72. Okay. So on page 35, you also have this really cool looking orange paper. Okay, So I wanna talk about this a little bit. This is how you set up a percent proportion, okay? So I have is over of equals 100%, percent over 100, okay? Percents are always over 100, every time. Even if the percent's bigger than 100 or less than one, it is always over 100, okay? So if you open up this flap, I have part over whole, which is what the equation you've been looking at or what the proportion you've been looking at looks like, the part over the whole, okay? If you have problems identifying which is the part and which is the whole, okay, you can use the is of method, right? So I'm looking for the number that follows is, and that's my part, and I'm looking for the number that follows of, and that's my whole. You can see in all of these examples, right? All three of these examples. In the original problem, what percent of 15 is nine? Of is my whole, 15. Nine is my part, because it follows is, okay? 40% is 40%, okay, so is. Remember, it's right next to that is, so I'm looking for my part of 120, 120, okay? 18 is, 18 is my part of what number that I'm looking for my whole number, okay? So there are three try it problems below. I want you to go ahead, pause the video, try the try it problems out, and then when you're done, we will go over the answers together. So, now that you've looked at the triad problems and attempted them, let's look at them together. The first one says, what percent of 25 is 20? Okay, so I'm looking to find a percent, right? So, I'm going to go ahead over to my workspace. So, this said... What percent of 25 is 20, right? So I'm looking for the percent, okay? My part, remember we said part was after is or right before is, right around is. So my part is 20 and my whole is 25, okay? So that's good information to know when I go to set up my equation. Or my proportion. So I have is over of equals whatever variable you would like 
over 100. Okay, now I multiply by the butterfly. I get 20 times 100. Twenty times a hundred is two thousand equals twenty five N. I divide both sides by twenty five. I get eighty. Okay. So, eighty percent is twenty over twenty five. Eighty percent of twenty-five is twenty. All right. Next example. It says, "What number is five percent of 60? So, I'm looking. I got is right there. So I'm looking for a part. So what number is 5% of 60? Okay, percent super easy to identify, right? It's got the percent sign attached to it. Of, I got 60, so that's my whole. And then the number I'm looking for is my part. Okay. I'm going to use P for part. So P over 60 equals 5 over 100. Cross multiply. I get 100 P equals 300. Divide both sides by 100. P equals 3. So, 5% of 60 equals 3. My third try problem says 40% of what number, so of what number, looking for a whole, is 26. Okay, so 40% of number is 26 is 26 okay again percent super easy to identify it's got that percent sign attached to it of so i'm looking for my whole 26 is my part because it's right after the is so i set up my proportion part over whole equals percent over 100. Cross multiply, I get 2600 equals 40W. Divide both sides by 40 gives me 65. Okay. So 26 is 40% of 65. And that is the end of lesson three.